Hey there folks, welcome back to Astro Optics. Today we're diving into the behind the scenes of our laser technology to uncover the mechanics behind a handheld laser rangefinder. Have you ever wondered how these devices accurately measure distance? Well, you're about to find out. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our website for more in-depth information on all of our available laser rangefinder models. Now let's break down the inner workings of a handheld laser rangefinder. At first glance, it might seem a little daunting, but it's really just a sophisticated combination of optics, electronics, and some good old math. First up, the heart of the device, the laser emitter. Inside of here, we have a semiconductor laser diode that emits a narrow, highly focused beam of light. Our laser rangefinder utilizes a 905 nanometer laser emitter. This wavelength is just out of our visible spectrum of lighting, nearing the infrared. Our LRF uses this specific type of laser because it is excellent at both interacting with our intended targets, as well as passing easily through our atmosphere uninterrupted under normal ranging conditions. When you aim the rangefinder at a target and press the button, this laser beam is emitted towards the target. The beam then reflects off the target and returns to the rangefinder. The laser's ability to bounce off the intended target is what allows us to calculate the range because the laser is essentially just bouncing back to us. The color and texture of our target can have a big effect on the effectiveness of this bounce. In the same way, bouncing a tennis ball on concrete will give you much better results than trying to bounce a tennis ball on sand. The rangefinder's receiver, shown here, detects the returning laser pulse by precisely measuring the time it takes for the laser pulse to travel to the target and back. The rangefinder calculates the distance the same way with calculating any distance. We multiply the velocity of the laser by the time it takes to travel to a certain distance. In this case, we're multiplying by the speed of light by the time it takes the laser to travel to the target. In our LRF models, there are a few more calculations taking place simultaneously to ensure accuracy. The rangefinder employs advanced algorithms to account for factors like atmospheric conditions, angle of measurement, and target reflectivity. These algorithms crunch the numbers and give you a precise distance reading in a matter of milliseconds, taking into account for elevation and degree of angle. And there you have it, the inner workings of a handheld laser rangefinder demystified. Pretty cool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.